just before we go. Now, obviously, it's the Wii. It's standard graphics. It, it's, it's standard definition. But this game's got a, some good art style to it. And as we have learned in recent days, art style is a saving grace for a lot of games. That weird green wisp is the hover wisp. So that's next time. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just... No, screw it. Let's just do this. I don't care. Yeah, so... This leaves us... This is a good impression of this level. This is a very good first impression of Starlight Carnival. Yes, we are effectively just running on a giant set piece. But for for Wii, this is pretty impressive. So this is this mechanic. And the main reason this feels cumbersome on the, um, well at least on the GameCube controller, is because you have to hold forward while that occurs. So you start tilting um, left or right and you decelerate. I can't remember if you can do diagonal left, diagonal right. Because if so, that would make... That would be better. But still. Um, I just don't get why they put it on the shoulder button. Say, watch. That's right. That's left. Doesn't do anything. The jump was all the A button, so... I don't know. Oh, here we go. Cube dive. Another pretty neat power. So yeah, they, um, which wisps did they had in, um, Generations? They had the, um, Spike Wisp, fuck, and the Rocket Wisp. Which were pretty rad. And then Wisps never came back by Lost World. Yeah, it's odd. Makes it feel like they were gonna be like a long time staple for Sonic, but no, they just kind of went back to adding more friends. So yeah, we have some of these free falling sections. They do this in 3D later, and it's actually pretty rad. Oh yeah, here we go. Now this is actually pretty cool. The fact you just fall out, like you fall through this hole, and you, you, you know, you're free falling above a giant fleet of spaceships. But how can Sonic breathe in space? It makes no sense. Now this is a cool little mechanic. Just keep boosting. This entire section rewards just hold B. You gotta use the stick, but it's still. Really fun. So no, diagonal does not work. I trolled myself by even considering that might be a thing. Of course not. I mean, holding B makes up for it, but still, it's quite cumbersome. Maybe it's because I'm using my um, Smash Bros. Ultimate GameCube controller. Yeah, maybe an OG Melee controller would do that. And by that, I just mean an OG GameCube controller. And now we have like a weird portal. What portal? I don't know. Spaceships coming out of hyperspace or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I give up on sci-fi. <laughs> This level is also a little longer than most of the um, first areas. So we ended up on top of the wall. Which re results in some cool shit like that. And by cool shit I mean it looks really weird for you guys but you can feel where you are. It's just kind of bizarre regardless. Get fucked. <laughs> yeah so uh, don't use the cube here. Gotta get up. Gotta get up. Gotta get up to get down. Yeah, so this is if you care about the blue rings enough. I mean, sorry, the red ring. I don't. So we're the fuck out of here. I think we... Yeah, we gotta take one of these up. In fact, I'm pretty sure I... Re yep. Yeah, I remember what happens now. This. Yeah. Now, this part is pretty rad, actually. Fucking run! Right. If you just hold B, you can do it. Oh, the slide actually made it closer than it needed to be. Oh, that was awesome. These are also pretty cool, though. I know this is the second time we've seen them, but I like it. 
Now, I think we just run straight into the goal from here. I think we hit a boost pad. And yep, that's it. What a fucking good first level. Hell yeah. Okay, what's the time? Man, I wish I knew how many lives I had. Alright, it's 11.27. I could hypothetically keep going. Oh. Don't know how many lives I have, so whatever. Quite happy with that. Now, the Cube Wisp. The Cube Wisp has returned to the wild. The breeding program successful aboard the mothership. We are free to release the cubes into the wild. Yes, that is meant to be shitty David Attenborough. Everyone has one, alright? Everyone gets one attempt. Bet they do, forever. Because you can. Yeah, look, I'm just... I'm just going through this level. I don't care. Up we go. These extraordinary creatures. After I made the joke and I was implying I wasn't going to go on with it, I immediately relapsed into doing it. So, yeah. God damn it. This wall jumping should not be as hard as it is. That's another thing to shit on forces about. Wall jumping's a mechanic. And then gets introduced in the base. Holy shit, why is this so hard? Um, and effectively the final level of the game. As your avatar. It's bizarre. An angry Nintendo nerd moment of what were they thinking? Fuck. God damn it, this is really annoying. Have we has he learned his lesson? I think so. Let me in. There we go. Ain't bothering with that no more. So cube can also be used for this. Ow. Yeah, getting hit. Did I mention I'm, you know, a genius? <laughs> uh oh. Has a fucking bachelor degree. Gets, <laughs> gets fucking trolled by spikes in a Sonic game. Ah, in which he complains about writing for children. That's part of the course of this channel, I don't know if you've noticed. Dying at the simplest things. I mean, Orphan of Cos wasn't simple, but, you know, I, I think no one's gonna come at me for dying to Orphan 11 times. Given I've only ever beaten him properly once. Oh, there it is. I mean... Eh, I don't know. Maybe maybe I was over leveled for Orphan. I don't fucking know. That was just that problem of I don't die enough in Souls games. Or in regards to I don't lose my blood snake. So, yeah. What do you want me to do? Not spend those souls? What do you think I do on them? What do you think I do on my invaders? And even then, it's just better to invest them in consum consumables. <sighs> but point is. I died more to that ledge trying to get the fucking rune sword and rune shield and demon souls than I did any boss. That is factually true. I died more to that fucking drop than I did to King Alant. And actually, I fought Alant. I had to fight Alant four times. Fuck you. <laughs> I still, as in, there were four instances of me having to beat him. So yeah. No, really. I died more to that ledge than King Alant having to repeat him that many times. Ugh, man. Demon Souls, eh? Hell, I think the fat ministers in 1-3 killed me more when I was trying to farm in between. I think that was definitely the case in the end. Yeah, that obviously was not on camera. For reasons. Yeah, this kind of mechanic's weird. I was kind of just expecting people to notice what's going on at this level and not question it, to be honest. It's something. Yeah, look, honestly, I should probably quit soon. Given the rain's gonna start up and I've got shit I should probably go do. But, whatever. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is weird. Yeah, I don't care about ring, red rings in this safe file, so who gives a shit? I just want to get to the goal. This is reminding me of that fucking mini game in Ring Fit. Um, but why don't we climb the tower that I fucking loathe? 
So, yeah, so it's this mechanic of if I stay in place, you'll notice I'm going back. But if I hold forward, that pulls it along. So honestly, I just need to stay on this crazy thing. I just need to stay on it and not die. I'm still terrified I'm going to fly off forward, though, is the main concern here. I'm going to hit that, so... What happened? What? What the hell? Why is this so difficult? It's not. That's the point. Alright, I wish I had have known how many lives I was on at the start of this. So yeah, that's it. That's the fucking level. That's all I had to do. Now that is a shameful display. Thank you, I don't deserve any better. I was on 12 lives. I don't know how many I was on prior, but if there's one here... Okay. Well, someone's taking mercy on us. I ain't, to I ain't gonna imply God or anything. Anyway, enough of that. Let's fucking go. Onto the pad. Let's fucking go. Yeah, so, um... Definitely reminds me of some of those chaos... Those balls of chaos in Adventure 2. Fuck. Let me pause. God damn it. Sonic Colors, where my skill goes to die. Oh, beautiful. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the artificial chaos is what I was thinking of. That is the terminology. I'm going to hit that. Yep. Just accept you're going to get hit. Speaking of which, I'd rather not now because I only have this... I have no rings, and I must scream. Fuck you! <laughs> Alright, um... Hmm. See you at the checkpoint, I guess, unless something dumb happens. Oh my god. So yeah, I literally just got hit on the way up. I lost all my rings as a consequence. Now, okay. I wonder. No, okay, there's, the roof is not falling in on us. Fuck, I hate these. Oh no. Oh no. The, um, the particle effect for those blasts remind me of Unreal Tournament, actually, of all things. Or just unreal in general. Yep, the C rank is what I deserve, even with a restart. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Yeah, so this is easily session free by now. Um, and I just got bodied by two easy levels in a row. So anyway, um... Today is sure is... A, a good day. Yep. Alright, good, we're 3D, for now. Fuck. Would've liked that boost. Okay. Control up, what are you doing? Um... Uh, uh-oh. I think I know what's happening here. Yeah. No, I... How do you avoid that again? Oh my god, I don't remember. I'm completely dumbfounded. Yeah, so this is the kind of section I was talking about. This is pretty fucking rad. So we got some wisps for a speed boost. I'm going for the red ring for some dumb reason when I should be going for normal rings. Yeah, this kind of level's cool. And we're in 2D. I should have known better. I should have known better. 
Now, there was some stuff on the roof back there. I'm pretty sure that's for when you have the Spike Wisp at the end of the game. Oh, sorry, to in Planet Wisp. This music's pretty neat, though. Yeah, we weren't going to be fast enough, I think, so... If I had have used it at the height of my jump, it probably would have been okay. We're going to get hit. Now, one of the cool things with this is, if you have a trail of rings, you can effectively light dash along it. Oh, phew, I'm happy that went well. Just made it. So yeah, when we're doing like actual levels, I say they get hit by a spring, <laughs> uh, sorry, by a spike, um, you'll see like, I'm actually pretty competent at this game. It's when we get to the uh, levels with the moving springs, and the weird projectiles that fucks me up. So the thing, you know, that I should innately be better at because, you know, piss easy. Yep, here we are. This is reminding me of, um, the arc at the end of, um, Adventure 2, though. Some of this texture work's reminding of Meteor Herd, actually. Yeah, don't know if it's intentional or not. I think I have to kill them. Yeah, have to kill him. You know I had to do it. I had little choice. Yeah, hold on. I'm trying to get higher. There we go. A bit more height should help. Now this kind of thing's actually really fucking rad. Oh, I should have just kept going up. Um, when they give you a 3D space to hover around in, it's actually pretty cool. I like it a lot. There we go. We've got all stuff to get this life if we want. A cheeky stop to get locked. We are not going to make... Oh, we did. Going to have to kill all of these guys again. The harmless trumpet players. Or at least it's just the trumpeters. God damn, I took my hand off the control with a scratch my wrist. Well played me. Oh, can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Yes, we can. I can hit the ring. We're not far off. Either that, or I am actually going insane. Nope. I'm not going insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Bingo. That level wasn't too bad. That was like, you know, a Sonic level or something. Or at least a 3D Sonic level. Oh great, I've forgotten how many lives are on. So, uh, we can't test the thing. Ah, oh, well. I'll have known by... I'll have known from the footage. By the time you guys see this, I'll have figured it out. I don't think anyone cares, though. Yeah, one thing I meant to point out. It'll say on the world map and here how many S-Ranks you, you've got. And the total amount of red rings. Obviously, I don't give a stuff. For an LP, who gives a fuck? Let's just get through this. Alright, good. I think this is just a constant hover to the top type mission. So yeah, they'll per periodically be... Oh, fuck you. They'll periodically be the little hover wisps to grab. We just keep going up. Don't ask me why there are spikes down there. Oh, oh, because we can hover out there. That's actually pretty neat. I forgot about that. So ideally, you're going to want to play it like this. Um... Just try to hover up into them as often as you can. How do we do the... It's just the beat. Sick. So it doesn't actually take any time of our wisp as well, which is cool. And yeah, we'll take those hits. I don't care. Beautiful. Uh-oh. The spring ran out. And there was a cat at my door. Oh boy. Time to get greedy. In fact, no, let's go back down. I can hear the ring. I can fucking hear it. I don't care, I'll take no sits. You cannot kill me, I am Omega. You cannot kill me. I am subhuman. Yeah, that's what Sonic listens to.
I mean, is Sonic the alpha to Shadow's Omega? Or is it the opposite? Because Shadow's older because he was cloned um, from a demon, alien thing. Mmm. I'm never playing Sonic. I'm never playing Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, so apparently, like I was saying, these cutscenes can just be reversed. Um, between uh, the Sweet Mountain boss and this boss. The bosses will be identical, it will just be the cutscenes. Uh, it seems like a thing, Eggman, but I don't know. This turned out much better than I could have hoped, and I only used a small prototype. I know they're doing this for comedy, but that makes no sense. I can tell with keep up with Sonic. It's unrealistic to the franchise. Oh, I am actually thinking that unironically. I just had to put the voice on to make sure no one thought it was, you know. Um, to, to hide my opinion, I suppose. Why is my nose here tingling? Lousy, cheap alien energy. Yeah, not yeah, that cheap imported crap. Well, I'll get more, lots more, and then I won't just control one little punk, but the whole universe. In the meantime, enjoy the part. Now, I'll leave you your own. If I was that kind of channel, and don't worry, I don't think I'll ever fucking be. We could work out the logistics of... Now, Eggman had controlled the tails for about a minute and a half with that much juice, so... How much juice would he require to take over the entire planet and maintain his stranglehold? Like, you have to go into, like... You know, how much would he have to produce to... You know, for the uptake and constant expansion. You know, it's, um... I guess, in a sense, it's, uh, representative of, um... Of modern day capitalism. I stepped into the laser blast. Well done, me. Perpetual growth and such. Now, these bosses are pretty cool. And yes, I say these bosses because there are two of them. <gasps> A fake out. So, if I had. Yeah, so you can just do this and get points. <laughs> oh, I wish I could say I did it on purpose. That's why I wasn't doing it initially. So, yeah. Just get that quick set bonus. Boss ain't gonna do anything about it. I mean, it kind of does, because the closer you get to it, the easier it gets. Speed this whole thing up. There we go, so I just had to jump. And attack it, that's what I should have been doing this whole time. The music for these bosses is pretty cool too. So I might as well just mention it, given I'm effectively saying it already. Um, each boss is repeated twice. Um, the one from Tropical Resort is repeated in, oh fuck, that was a laser, I wish I had got that, is repeated in, um, Planet Wisp, the pirate ship is repeated in Aquarium Park, and this is repeated at Asteroid Coaster, and it looks even fucking cooler there. Yeah, so now we get a 2D section. Which again, I got nothing against, but, yeah, and you just got a homing attack this. And yeah, you can bitch about, oh, but that makes no sense. How is Sonic just propelling himself in such a fashion? But as I pointed out, I don't care. There we go, that was lucky. So this is how the, this is how the boss fight's meant to look. For anyone curious of actual good gameplay. Hey buddy, fuck you. So that went well. 
you are gonna get hit. Fuck you. That count? Give me rings, please. Rings, please. I, I'm too weak. Oh, that bit with Palpatine still cracks me up, man. What? That was. That could have been really fucking bad. Okay, I did it. I am a pro gamer. <laughs> oh, I can beat this blue hedgehog game for children <laughs> as an adult. I beat it as a teenager, I competed as an adult. There we go. Come on, S rank. You fuck. Baron von Leg and then denied his S rank. I feel like I've used that joke before on the channel. Just, you know, replace something with... Replace S rank with something else. That's effectively half the game done in one session. Sick. Up, Yacker. So did you get any more info out of him? Well, it wasn't easy, but yeah. Well, we know Eggman is going to use the energy he's stealing for a mind control weapon. Learn that one the hard way. Do we know how Eggman is getting all these aliens? Yeah, yeah. At first, I'm I'm just silent because I got nothing to add. Nosehair was using burps to do it. Hmm, he is pretty gassy. Maybe the smell would knock him out. I don't know, something doesn't seem right with that. That's what I said. Yeah, uh, uh, I made a tiny adjustment and realized yeah. was saying generators. So, no burps. Well, that's a relief. I want to skip, so but I'm leaving it in for the sake of it. Tractor beam generators to hold their planet in orbit while he scoops the Again, I'm not acting like Adventure 2 was high art or anything oh, like that. Planet. It's black and red hedgehog locked in military base was secretly made by Eggman's grandfather and helped him power a super weapon disguised as a small moon. Like, it's schlock. But it's entertaining schlock. I'll be honest. Anyway, that's Sonic Colors for the mi- Oh, wait, no, okay. Chew the scenery, Eggman. Make this entertaining, please. Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't think it was this soon. They're really sidestepping calling it Earth, or Mobius, or whatever the fuck it's called at this point. <sighs> anyway. Oh, wait, no, you just get a choice of any of those three. And the Eggman Shuttle, which I'm pretty sure is... So is this the, uh... How's this work again? Oh, that's what I thought it was. Challenge mode. Um... Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Again, at least load times are really fucking fast in this game. Radio, well... Just real quick. Planet Wisp. Aquarium Park. It's got that nice Japanese flair to it. Meanwhile, Asteroid Coaster.
with that sick fucking riff. Truly, Mick Gordon stole the Doom 2016 soundtrack and by extension Killer Instinct from Sonic Colors. <laughs> no, that wasn't a gent riff. I'm making a fucking joke. Alright, I'm sync testing this and I'm fucking out. Alright. See you back for uh, part 4, 5, 6, 7? Nah, 6 will probably just. I don't fucking know how I'm doing this. Alright, see you later.